Okay, this is a weird one because while I've never seen this film, and I'm so excited to finally dive in it and watch this. Uh, I did see Tron Legacy. Do I remember it very well? Not at all. I, I don't remember what was happening. I think they went inside of some computer and then there was a bunch of like flashing lights and Olivia Wilde was in it, which is probably why I went to see it in the first place. So I, I'm ready and primed to finally watch Tron, the real deal, the real deal, the real deal. So let's do it. Let's experience Tron for the very first time. Ha! It's a weird laugh. I don't regret it. I just want to acknowledge it. All right, give me room. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Light cycle. Wait a second. Oh, hang on, hang on. There was a Tron level in Kingdom Hearts 2 where we did this. Hopefully that's not spoiling anything. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is like a lot of stuff happening inside of the video game. Really intense. You're getting brutal, Sark. Thank you, Master Control. I'm just a compound interest program. What? I work at a savings and loan. I can't play these video games. Master Control program's been snapping up all us programs. If he thinks you're useful, he takes over all your functions so he gets bigger. And if he can't use you, he sends you down here to the game grid to get the bits blasted out of you. Whoa. Chrome. Ramp. Is Google Chrome named after this movie? Meanwhile, in the real world, okay. <laughs> Tonight we check everything in the right hand account. Although we don't have much time left to find that file, this is top priority. Yes, sir, I know, sir. This is, this is like the opposite of war games. This is the most unrealistic hacking movie ever. <laughs> You're the best program that's ever been written. You're dogged and relentless, remember? Wow. Let me at him. That's the spirit. <laughs> the, <laughs> these, like, computer graphics are kind of nuts. Uh-oh. We've got company. <laughs> There's too many of them. Uh. <laughs> that scream, though. He put a hole in the wall. Run. Get out Clue. Of there. Uh oh. Bust it again. Dang it. And that was my best pro, right? Aww. Caught him trying to raid a high clearance memory. Who programmed you? I was sim. Oh. <laughs> oh, y'all are brutal. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> Do we have like an evil corporation going on here? Incom. Are they behind Master Control? Is he Master Control? Request access to Master Control. Uh oh. It's your friend. The boy detective is nosing, nosing around, around again. again. He's still looking for that old file. I think we should shut down all access until we find that Flynn, just to be safe. All right, Jim Halper pretending to be Dwight. I see you. Please, Tron. I saw Tron. Your access suspended. Report to Dylan, you. Come on. Enter. Do not enter. <laughs> I love the touchscreen button. Also, like, that very much feels like a modern touchscreen. So, like, the fact that this is 1982 is wildly entertaining. We've had to shut down all Group 7 personnel, just briefly, security. Uh, what's the project you're working on? Well, it's called Tron. It's a security program itself, actually. It monitors all contacts between our system and other systems. Part of the master control program? No, it'll run independently. Good. And watchdog the MCP as well. Sounds good. Yeah, it does. Mr. Dillinger, I'm so very disappointed in you. What? You were listening? I can't afford to have an independent programmer monitoring me. What you doing with the orange? Oh, oh wow. It's working! Perfect! Yes! We're having fun disintegrating things down Not here. disintegrating, Alan. <laughs> Digitizing. A laser dismantles okay. the molecular structure of the object. I had Tron almost ready when Dillinger cut everyone with Group 7 access out of the system. I tell you, ever since he got that master control program, computers are just machines, they can't think. Some programs will be thinking soon. <laughs> master control computers seems to be the one in charge, though. Thinking and the people will so. stop. Well, I'm gonna say oh, wow. Did he just say pretty soon the machines will start thinking and the people will stop? I gotta stop. I'm going home. Like, what a 2022 commentary. Woo! 
He had Group 7 access. Flynn had access to you, too. Sounded a little bit jealous, buddy. I don't know what you ever saw on that guy anyway. I left him for his brain. <laughs> All right, so it's confirmed. It's it's her ex. <laughs> Jeff Bridges is giving me Harrison Ford vibes. Kevin Flynn. One of Tim's brightest young software engineers. Starts going in at night, sets up his own private memory file and begins writing space paranoia. You invented space paranoids. But is that not a real game? Is that game only from this? <laughs> I was this close to starting my own little enterprise, man. But enter another software engineer, Ed Dillinger. Right. I don't see a dime except what I squeeze out of here. So he's got I a real vendetta. Why you want to break into the system? Somewhere in one of these memories is the evidence. Hmm. Okay. The guy knows what you're up to. Yeah. Great. We can get in there. I can forge us a Group Six access. It's my fault. I programmed you to want too much. I was planning to hit the Pentagon next week. Excuse me. Trying to take over the world. I see. Wait a minute. I wrote you. I've gotten two thousand four hundred and fifteen times smarter. Whoa. I can run things nine hundred to twelve hundred times better than any human. Uh, classic. Oh, working late? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put him at my terminal. I'm gonna meet you in your office upstairs. They're gonna use that machine that uh, they used on the orange to like literally go in to the computer to digitize themselves. And can I just say what a bad idea this is? Gord Klatu Barada Nikto! I watched The Day the Earth Stood Still on this channel. Where did they put this in? This is where I work now. I got a direct terminal in the laser target area. You can stay there all night. I guess they're okay. just trying to hack it. Remember, this laser's my life's work. Don't spill anything. <laughs> you shouldn't have come back, Flynn. Oh hey, 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 it's the big master control program everybody's been talking about. Stop. <laughs> Please. You realize I can't allow this. Oh, wait. He's, the computer's the one who brings him into the computer. Oh my gosh, he's trying to like bring him in and erase him like he does all the other com programs. All the useless programs. He's like, Flynn, you're a useless program now. Holy crap. I guess more along the lines of useless programmer than program. Woo! Cool. Oh man, this isn't happening. It only thinks it's happening. Sorry, but it is 100% happening. Oh no. I said move. Yeah. I've got a little challenge for you, Sark. I've been hoping you'd send me somebody with a little bit of guts. That is the same actor that plays Dylan. What kind isn't of it? program is he? He's not any kind of program, Sark. He's a user. Huh? Somebody pushes me, and I push back, so I brought him down here. What? I don't know, user. I mean, users wrote us. What if My I can't? Wife. You'd rather take your chances with me? Want no. me to slow down your power cycles? Oh no! Wait! I need that! I need that. Yeah, you do. Oh no, the games. Acknowledge. Where am I? Guest of the master control program. Oh, great. Move out this way. I don't get you. Well, explain the training procedures. Real serious. The master control program has chosen you. Continue to profess a belief in the users will result in your eventual de-resolution. De-resolution. Technical way of saying die. Cool. Hey, who's that guy? That's Tron. He fights for the users. All right. Let him fight one of his own kind. Is there another user in there that he can fight against? New guy was asking about you. It's too bad he's in a match now. I'll probably never meet him. <laughs> Flynn? I said, are you as good at video games? And, um, I mean, this feels more like actual sports. Okay, here's an easy one. Is it define easy? Uh-oh. Oh, no. I mean, wait. Oh, good, because that could mean we win. Finish the game! 
No! You'll regret this. <laughs> no. You won. Alan. Where did you uh, hear that name? The name of my user. Oh, nice. The programs look like the user who programmed them. But I'm remembering all kinds of stuff. Like my user wants me to go after the MCP. <laughs> my user wants that too. I know. <laughs> all right, so we got Tron. And Flynn teaming up already. We have transport. Light cycle. I'm I'm truly terrible at like driving games. So I would be uh not excited right now. Oh, go team go! Oh boy! Oh I would definitely run into my own tail or my own wall. Oh my gosh, stop, this is scary! I... <laughs> it's too much for me. Oh! Ouchie. Uh-oh. They make it? This is an illegal exit. You must return to Gamerate. They can do whatever they want. Keep your illegal exit, voice lady. All units exiting game arena. Rur, 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 rur. Oof, I can't like follow the action here. It's a lot. Whew. When do we pay our visit to the old uh, master control, huh? My uh, user told me to go take that sucker out. We can't get to the MCP without the help of my user. <laughs> I have to get to that input output tower and communicate okay. with him. Hmm. Well, good. Check in with Alan. Maybe. I guess that makes sense. I hate that he has to go to a tower in order to communicate to the outside world, though. Hold it. Hold it. That actually looks really good. Yeah. Woo! Ram, Flynn, do you read me? Ram. Force reporting to escape units Derez. No! Tron unit heading into next sector. Say so they're not gone. I mean, Flynn's a human, you can't... They're not gonna kill the human. Ram. Come on. No sign of life. Looks like we got him. Continue pursuit of remaining conscript. Acknowledge. This tanks won't find us here. Is he gonna be okay? <laughs> Interesting how it's... Finger flips up when the light goes on. <laughs> you see this? You shouldn't be able to do that. But he's a user! So he has superpowers. I'm guessing. Now for some real user power. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Just like the old arcade grips. <laughs> How can you steal a recognizer? Hey, you okay? You don't look so good. Hmm. It's like his having his faith affirmed. Are you a user? <laughs> Ram looks sick. He's like sweating. He didn't make it. Such a shame. This movie has such a definitive and unique look. I would even venture to say, I don't think there's ever been another film uh, like it, including the sequel. On the screen. Tron. Oh. Uh. They haven't built a circuit that could hold That's you. Alan's girlfriend. We're here to state the obvious. This way, quickly. Oh boy. Whoa, whoa, what in the world? I'm sorry, are we at Comic-Con? What is going on with these very special looking programs? Huh? Good driving, huh? Flynn is such a showboat. Ugh. 
<laughs> Why do they look so weird? <laughs> oh yeah! Camouflage activated. Um, he kind of just killed a man. That's, that's what I saw. I mean, not a man, but... It felt weird like there was a... Outline on the floor for a second. Like, dusted him. Oh, that's okay, they're knocking off programs too. Ooh, what? What? That hat! Paul! Is this the Wizard of Oz? I've come to communicate with my user. Difficult proposition. My user has information that could, well, could make this free system again. <laughs> and no MCP looking over your shoulder. And you've been in the system as long as I have. You hear many promises. Sure, get jaded, get cynical. Please do not. Lose hope. The guards are coming. There they are, with the Guardian. All right, you. The Yuri. Guardian. All right. All that is visible must grow beyond itself and extend into the realm of the invisible. Yes. You may pass, my friend. Was he describing death? Yes. Let's ultimate frisbee this. Goodbye, Dust. Oof, something about this movie, I think, is like giving me a little bit of a head. I feel all weird. Dedicate yourself to getting the disc into the heart of the MCP. You will not be able to communicate again unless oh, no. you succeed. This is the key to a new order. This code disc means freedom. I think they're breaking in. Hurry! The users are waiting! This movie does kind of, in a weird sort of way, feel like uh, an Alice in Wonderland, Wizard of Oz vibe. I know those are two very different films, but it has a vibe. Hey, it's me, Flynn! Flynn! Yeah, greetings, program! No! Woo, just in time. Close no! call. We're good. <laughs> he just changes his color back to blue, just like that. Where's Ram? He didn't make, make it. Jinx! Jeff Bridges owes me a Coke. Write it down. Laura? Yori. It's time I level with you. I'm what you guys call a user. You're a user? <laughs> I take a wrong turn somewhere. And everything you've done has been according to a plan, right? <laughs> you wish. Aww. Oh. So many like little things are happening, it's like kind of a lot. What's happening? Power surge from the MCP. We have to get off this beam. I can't. There isn't another junction for seven or eight nanoseconds. There's another beam! It's too far. Make it happen, friends. Ooh. He's creating a junction. Fancy. Because he's a user, he can do stuff that you can't. Did we make it? Dead. Uh, when did Tron die? Like, did I just totally miss something? I'm taking our friend here, some other religious fanatics, to master control. This ship and everything that remains on board will automatically de res. Uh oh. That sounds terrible. I'm gonna say Tron's not dead. I do feel like a little bit sensory overload <laughs> for whatever reason. Something's happening. Is that the master control program? Hey. Oof, like my eye my eyes hurt. What is that? It's not a normal experience for me. Leave me alone. We failed. 
We're only gonna fail if we give up. Now, come on, look! The wall! We're only gonna fail if we give up? Come on. Mason. to terminate. Nope. Yeah. Again, this looks like such a fun little game. All programs have a desire to be useful. But in moments, you will each be part of me. And together, we will be complete. You're very persistent, Tron! I'm also better than you! Has anyone else had that, that experience that I'm having watching this film where it's just kind of like, it's overwhelming and my, it's, it's like messing with my eyes. Uh. All my functions are now yours. Take them. Really? Is Sark a giant now? Yikes. Your user can't help you now, my little program. I'm gonna jump. It's the only way to help Tron. Don't you be derailed. He's willing to sacrifice himself. Aww. Oh, jeez. I hate to say it, I'm just really struggling to follow the last 10 minutes here because I'm just like visually distraught. <laughs> it's too much for me. I think they won. That's my general understanding. <laughs> nice. We thought you were dead. Aw. What happened to Flynn? He's not dead. All the questions. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and it spit out the information he needed to clear his name. Borderlining on convenient, but I like it. I like it. Haha. -ha. You've been found out. I'm sorry. The truth has a way of doing that, though. Of course, the boss is Flynn. Interesting how the city here looks somewhat reminiscent. It's just the way they they move, the speed at which they're moving everything, and it makes it look a little bit reminiscent of inside the uh, election. It's over. Oh, well, that was Tron. It's not what I expected at all. Uh, it was good. I just was overwhelmed uh, vis visually. Uh, that was a unique experience for sure. Um, it was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. It was kind of like a techno electric cartoon mixed with some real elements and it gave it a distinct visual style. I don't believe I've ever seen a film uh, that has that distinctive look. I know there's been films that have cartoon and the real life elements, but that was very, very interesting. Distinctive. I don't think there's, there's nothing else like it. I don't think. I wouldn't want to like rewatch this film just because of the ex the physical experience that I had watching it. Uh, I, that's not a statement on the the film itself by any means. It just was uh, <laughs> my experience. This was creativity maximized. There was, I mean, just to to, to think of all of this stuff and put it all together and then create it. You know, I I surely don't know how they pulled this off. Obviously, there was some animation elements. Uh, but it worked, it really worked, and it looked cool. Especially for the time period, being 1982. I loved the quote early in the movie where they said, soon machines will start thinking and people will stop. This movie was worth watching if for that quote alone, <laughs> because I just, obviously that's not like a new idea, certainly not new in 2022, but like we're seeing that, especially with the advent of, of social media and I've talked about this in other reactions so I won't spend a lot of time there but with the the 
onset of algorithms determining so much of the content that we participate in online that we get to see and engage with, like in a way machines are controlling our, our thoughts in some ways. Really what they're doing is echoing our thoughts right back to us. That's what an echo chamber is. And the algorithms are echoing the things we already believe back to us. And it's a, it's it's just interesting to think about, especially in the context of this, this film and that quote just mwah. I also thought the kind of religious subtext, maybe it's not even subtext, but kind of the idea that the users were kind of gods to the programs. The programs kind of were uh, treated them like they were tr truly a higher power, which is apt because to a program, a user would be a higher power. But it was interesting to kind of watch some of those parallels. And I don't think it's meant to be any deeper than that. I don't think it's meant to be overthought or, or read into much more than that. But I thought that was a nice choice. It was kind of fun to watch. All in all, this was a great film. Um, I wish that I didn't have the physical experience that I had <laughs> while watching. Please let me know, is that a common experience with this film or am I broken? Um, and let me know your experience watching this film. Please, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, here are some other films that you might enjoy. Please check them out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.